All right, so on this video, we will be showing one of the biggest things to do in this game, which is for for loot wise, uh, scrap things like that, is forsaken stores and dark hollows. They're the two things that are very similar in this game. Um, it's perf you probably are gonna do a lot of them in your time playing this game because well, they're really worth it. Dark hollows are definitely something that are worth doing. Um, preferably when you do them, you want to not be doing them in daytime, because, which I will show you why, actually, to help that out in a minute. But doing these in the daytime is unbelievably difficult. Well, it appears we're in a chase now. When I was just trying to do the Forsaken Store. So, for the Forsaken Stores, you just gotta find your way in. It's a lot easier to do them during the night, because there's a lot less things in here. Now, preferably when you do them, you don't want to be in a chase. Being in a chase and stuck in a corner makes it a lot harder. But at night times, here's the difference. When you come in at daytime, you're going to see how much harder it is because volatiles will be in here as like a nesting hiding zone. Whereas during the nighttime, they're not as bad. They're more, it's more empty. There's just a couple, just a couple different zombies just roaming around. It's a lot easier than how I'm making it look right now because, well, not now I'm making it look. It's a lot easier than it looks right now because I happen to come here in a chase, which is not what you want to do. It's so hard to talk with all these screaming and grabbing. I'm probably gonna die because I came in here in the middle of a chase. But that is the difference. So there's nighttime. They're not as hard if as long as you're not in a chase. Because think about it, if I wasn't in the chase, there wouldn't be all the there wouldn't be all the harder, harder infected just roaming around in here like hordes. Um, nighttime is usually preferably the time you want to come in here to loot scrap and building materials and things like that to help you craft things. Um, if you want to come in here for trophies for um, infected and stuff like that, come in here during the daytime if you think you can do it and there'll be a lot of trophies to get. Well, now let me show you them in the daytime. All right. Here is a Forsaken store during the daytime. Tried to do the same one, but the one I tried to do, like the same one that I did uh, during nighttime, it was really bugged out. So we'd have to, we had to, I'd run to a different one. So let's try this one out. So there's your difference. Let's run in here. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jesus. So during the daytime, you can do these. It's not impossible. But during the daytime, as you can see, it is filled with volatiles, which volatiles are not your friends. And you will die very quickly, as I'm about to show. <laughs> that is your difference on the daytime. Now, if you went in there with a plan and you had, like, boosters and things like that, and you were ready and you went in there and took your time, maybe threw a couple grenades, just threw stuff in there, you could easily do that, take that out, and that's a lot of trophies for you. Or you can find a cheap spot, because there usually is in every place. You just crouch under something, under a table, or be on the other side of it, and just swing, because all the volatiles will come towards you. Um, that is the Forsaken store, nighttime and daytime. Nighttime, it is a lot easier, because even with me being in a chase, I was able to survive in a Forsaken store. And I was in a small one when I was at nighttime. But the Forsaken store is at nighttime, there's no volatiles. So it's, and everything's sleeping, unless you're in a chase. Um, during like nighttime, you could just sneak through and s stealth kill everybody, and then just loot everything. Um, daytime, you cannot. You can try, but it probably won't work. And then you'll get jumped by volatiles, which will be a little harder. And if you aren't ready and you don't come in prepared, you're probably gonna die. Or if you're just not good at the game, <laughs> either one. But um, see, even Aiden laughed. That was funny. But um, that is. 
the Forsaken stores, nighttime and daytime. Um, we will be checking out Dark Hollow at some point. I am going to try and do a Jerry Anomaly as well, showcase that. The reason why I haven't done that yet, even though I've said that how I like that one, is because, like I've probably said before, I think, is I'm done all of the Jerry Anomalies on this save file. I've finished them all, because I actually really enjoyed them. So... Next on the agenda will probably be Jiri Anomaly, because um, I'll probably try to get that done before I do a Dark Hollow, because the Dark Hollow is a bigger location than the Forsaken Store, and it's a similar idea. So we'll be checking that at some point, but... Alright, that was it for this one. See you on the next one.